Oh, I just live for color and cut transformations. Today we are gonna take eight inches off of this client's hair. We're gonna start with about four and a half to five. Might even be a little bit more now that I'm looking at it. And then we are gonna take her into a more lived in, dark chocolatey brown with lots of dimension through the ends. Now I always play it safe when I'm taking this much off of a client's head. The one thing I wanna point out is that kind of like weight line that's in there, that's where I'm cutting it. I don't mind pulling a little extra color through the ends. So that way I have time to kind of like reconsult with my client after we've colored, make sure it's ending in the right spot. There is literally nothing worse than cutting off a ponytail or cutting it off behind their head flipping their hair forward and realize you've taken it too short. So what I'm using today is the Colorance, the Goldwell Colorance shade 5N at BP, which is brown pearl in her roots. Now this client, I mean, honestly, she might have like two gray hairs on her whole head, so we're not really doing gray coverage. I'm really in it more for the shine. The other thing I wanted to point out is I did not section her in quadrants. I sectioned her in the front half and then the back all together. She actually has a very small head, so that's why we're going from there. And then we're using the low light from Goldwell Colorants. If you guys haven't done this, that little line right there is pretty much going to be cut off. So you want to keep that in mind. All those bright pieces on the end are pretty much irrelevant at this point. So the low lights from Goldwell Colorants. If you have not tried these, these are an incredible tool to add to your tool belt when it comes to any sort of natural balayage or color. I know a lot of our clients start going darker when it comes to fall, and we start trying to cover up some of that pre-lightened hair without turning too green or too muddy or too red. Well, this is like kind of the perfect formulation for me when I'm going a little bit darker and I wanna create a lot of dimension. The thing you'll notice in the back is I still have one section in the back. When I work with somebody that has a smaller head, I like to brick lay my foils. So I'm doing one straight down the middle, two on the sides, one straight down the middle and two on the sides. You can see that that one foil in the middle almost covers the entire width of her head, which is why I don't need two sections. I'm trying to create as much coverage as I can and as little time as I can. The other thing I wanted to point out, and here's a little bit better camera angle, as you work your way up the head, just like you would with extensions, you've got a wider diameter around the head, so you may be able to fit three foils where you could only fit two before. The one thing that I love doing when I'm creating a lot of dimension and I'm adding a lot of depth back into someone's hair is slicing the hair instead of weaving. So what you're gonna see me do here is I've sliced pretty much all the way up. I'm gonna section off that teeny tiny little crown section and then I'm gonna start working in more of a diagonal back, almost like a pie section. I don't necessarily want full coverage in the top. I want some of those peekaboos to show through, some of that kind of caramely goodness that's already in there. This client loves warmth, she loves gold, so it's super easy. We're actually not even going to throw a gloss or a toner over her once we get to the bowl. Now, I am using the Quality Touch Foils in Peach. I also, they also have like a really amazing lavender one that I love. These are textured foils. They grip the hair really well, so one of the things you'll notice is I'm not having to create an origami of foils. They just stick so well to the hair that I can really work that color in. I'm alternating between a level six and a level seven, and no, I'm not color melting. I'm literally taking that root level five and I am pulling it down with my brush into a level six and a level seven. There's my placement. We're doing diagonal back all the way through. It's only about five to six foils through the top. As I work my way to the top, I'm going to take bigger, thicker sections. Now, if you're taking sections that are thick like this, make sure you have really full saturation. If you've ever pulled out a low light and it's kind of spotty, either the porosity of the hair was off, which you can fix that with any sort of porosity filler, or you didn't get full saturation and that becomes an issue. The other big thing is um, leaving less and less as I work my way up the head. I want those pops of brightness to basically peekaboo out of her hair, but I don't necessarily want them through the top. If you think of the way a balayage works, You've got dark hair through the top that then gradually gets lighter through the bottom. If I leave all the lightness through the top, I still have like a kind of weird um, inconsistent balayage instead of doing like a reverse balayage, which is what I'm doing here, which is just adding a lot of depth back into the hair. Now, as I work my way to the sides, you can see how small of a section I'm able to take just because she doesn't have a lot of hair in front of her ear. I'm doing diagonal back weaves. I'm working my way through. 
Now the fun part about this in part two, you guys, is gonna be the money piece. So stay tuned for part two.